five seconds. And welcome everybody to this beautiful Saturday, the 9th of May. Reserve. We are having BBC versus Lemon Dogs today for you in this Group C match. This is the first match of, uh, well, Group C actually. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it straight away. With me today is Morality Class. Man, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Good afternoon to everyone. Well then, so BBC versus Lemon Dogs now. I'm looking at what at the analysis here. Uh, there's nothing much to say really. It looks like the match favors BBC a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. We've seen some surprises this tournament. Some surprises, not all of them, obviously. Well, the biggest surprise we actually had so far is that basically unknown has been kicked out by my insanity and hey hey. Yeah, that was surprising. I did not expect that actually. I expected to. Well, I expected maybe my sanity to go through and maybe Hey Hey to be third in that group, but I wasn't expecting basically, you know, to be the third place there. Well, we'll see. Yeah, but basically... Um, <laughs> basically unknown. Mm -hmm. The Visage ban is interesting, you know, because um, Visage isn't usually a first ban material, in my opinion. Diet team pick. No, but um, the hero has been coming back a lot more, even without just a draw combo. He's been played a lot more in yeah, I see. I mean, we saw it last game. We were confused. And here's a Queen of Pain pick, just standard, really. Uh, we last game, like like last week, we were confused when Versace was picked on the side of, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't remember correctly, unfortunately. But I do remember Versace was picked once, and we were confused by why. Yeah, and then but he was just a useless. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah useless. He didn't deliver anything, and that was kind of bad. Like. They couldn't do anything with it, and I, I don't even know why they didn't pick the road because they had the place and the space for it as well. Yeah, there but was definitely there was definitely worth it. Oh no, no! Remember they banned the the draw was banned at that point. Uh, oh yeah, but they it. could have picked it up before that because before the, they picked it up as third the visage, and then they could have still picked up as fourth the draw. So, um, I will quickly look up the teams for you, <laughs> guys, just just to make sure which game we're actually talking about. Yeah, but one thing we see always coming back here is the Queen of Pain. That hero has like a 100% pick or ban rate. Yeah, it's weird Ridiculous. because I think it's just because she's versatile. I mean, it's mag pure magical damage on her ult. It's, it goes well, I mean, through like, BKB. That goes through BKB, you have to remember that. The uh, Scream of Pain is a pretty Five good ability in the early remaining. game. Um, falls off in the late game for obvious reasons. Uh, Poison Dagger is almost Reserve always good time. if they don't have to activate BKB because it's a slow and... In even in even late game slows are worth it. Yeah, they're and just it's a, yeah. and it's a DOT, which means it instantly cancels blink. Well, and then of course we also have Beastmaster again. I He's guess picked a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. Just the roar is so good at keeping people locked down, and the boar with the upgrade on there, and the the what's the lower catch point on the world axis. It's really been good. Lion. Yeah, uh, just just quickly the Versage game we were talking about. That yeah. was FSC versus Goomba. With FSC winning that after 26 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was the, yeah, the, that match didn't matter for anything anymore because FSC was already through and Goomba was already out. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure about that. Or not? Enchantress. Eh, doesn't matter. Bad dudes banning someone. Uh, this Enchantress. Well, we all remember 6.83 Enchantress was obviously not picked because she was just way too squishy, and she's been seeing a comeback lately. Because of her buffs. Yep. Um, I believe Impendence is no more a, a unique attack modifier and yep, exactly. movement speed no, buff. Wait, no, no, no. Impendence burn. is still a unique attack modifier. Oh, that was something else. It was probably the movement speed. Uh, it's the movement speed is something else as well, then, but I'm not pretty sure what. But if you're already playing it versus a line, you still have the, the problem that you all had in every other patch is you're so squishy versus magical damage. Yeah. That's the problem. I mean, physical damage you can evade during the early oh. game because you've got untouchable, but magical damage would Dirty always burst man. you down. Completely destroy you. Oh, and that's... And that will keep on having it because Lion, yeah, I think it's one... I think you have about 600 HP once Lion usually gets level 6, so... Yeah, the buffs on Enchant was actually that... Un uh, untouchable was buffed by yeah. 10 in all levels. Enchant was able Great to refresh team. Enchant, which is actually pretty good. And Impetus actually could now... Bu uh, Pierce spell immunity, which oh, made it an incredibly good spell. Yeah, that okay. made it incredibly good. Oh, so it was either death or uh, they moved the unique attack modifier. Damn it. Yep. Oh. So now I even scrolled over it. Ugh, whatever. It doesn't matter. But now Impetus can break through spell immunity, which means that BKBs become 
less of an issue for Enchantress because, you know, earlier it was just Impetus, you kept throwing Impetus at people, but it didn't do any damage because that's what you're relying on. You're relying on the pure damage to do damage as Enchantress. So much damage. <laughs> Yeah, it's, but it's, yeah, now that it can break time. through spell immunity, oh, that makes it good. that puts it on another level. It puts it on a whole Dying other level. Pick. Yeah, it's if you can just get the right clicks off then that's ridiculous. Even I won't say you can still pick up like a Mesco Menace together with an Aghanim's Bloodstone and if they don't have the lockdown versus you, you can just completely blow up Heroes by just a couple of impetitors. Yeah. But but now we have a Beastmaster line and Earthshaker all have incredibly reliable stunts. Yeah, and a lot of burst as well versus the Enchantress. Oh, I'm not sure that Enchantress is going to be able to survive in this case as long as you would Five like her to. Remaining. But yeah. we'll see, we'll see. I'm also wondering what. Reserve because time. that's. Yeah, I'm gonna expect that Enchantress is gonna go into the jungle. That's like what you usually do. Nine of the ten times, the Enchantress goes into the jungle. So that means that somewhere you, your, yeah, your defensive save lane will have two heroes. Versus a beast monster, I don't think one hero is enough to zone him out because with the boar he can just get this XP easily and trade, uh, yeah, trade damage fairly effectively. And so that means that beast monster is gonna have a good time, which means that Ashantos has to farm like crazy or get incredible ganks off to make it worthwhile. But she can get incredible ganks off. She is good at that. That's the thing. Yeah, but beast monster, he can spot it out with a hawk. So that, that's now that's that's another good point. Beastmaster is like that one hero which can like reliably evade ganks without the need for wards just because Hawk, just because of the Hawk. And then we have a Rubik which actually kind of makes sense here because you've got a lot of spells you want to steal. You've got like Echo Slam which if you steal is amazing. You've got Fisher which if you steal is even more amazing because you have zero cast time for the Fisher. You can get Finger of Death which is incredible. Hex as well. I mean, Hex is reliable, and Earth Spike as well. You can get that. And in fact, anything on Lion or Earthshaker, if you if you get it, it's pretty good. Even Enchant Totem, which people might consider would be bad, but it gives you 400%. But if it gives you even 100% more damage, and that's on a ranged hero, you can still burst a bit. Zeus. Yeah, but now the question is, how much is Rupert gonna get off with? There's a Silver and Earthshaker. He needs to get a Blink or something. Yeah, well, I mean, isn't that sort of cool, though? I mean, you want to get a Brink or Rubik anyway. Well, with the Enchantress as well, you're probably thrown into the fifth position, which... I'm gonna, just going to go and assume you're not going to get anything. Uh, with, the changes to, with the changes to fighting gold, and if they do fight early, then... You might, we might, then, why not? Dang. They go with Lone Druid. They're really going into the push here with Enchantress and Lone Druid. Huh. It's it's gonna be interesting though, cause Five seconds I don't see much counter push on BBC. Uh, yeah, not not much, but uh, they have a lot of burst. That's for sure. We're gonna see. I want to see the Aghanim's Lone Druid. I haven't seen it so far. Five seconds remaining. Ah, bear fighter. I want to just see. You know, they essentially just have six heroes on your team. Well. Actually, I see Lone Druid, the hero himself, with a, as a big melee creep, but... You, you get the idea behind it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, we're getting a lot of quick complaints, getting a lot about, of complaints about quality. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we really need to get this partnership. Reserve time. The, the thing is, guys, it's not up to us, it's up to Twitch, really, and we want to make a high-quality stream. As well um, as have the other quality options, but, yeah. We really, it's not up to us, guys. We're sorry. Sorry, guys. Anyway, moving back to the cast, I just want to talk about, uh, just want to talk about this Meepo ban here quickly. It's probably to counter, what's his name, W33, I believe? Yes, W23. Yep, W33, who picks up Meepo and... Dominates with it, like most core Meepo players actually. Because <laughs> if you can play Meepo and you can surprise pick him, then he's very, very, very like good, incredibly good. Yeah. In the right composition, especially since if, if I mean they picked up the Earthshaker, they picked up the Lion, they picked up the Zeus, they they got the heroes. Yeah, they uh, got the heroes. So Queen of Pain is still okay for him. He has a lot of burst and Chandra's is single target Rubik. Isn't that good versus him? He gets eaten, Chantress. 
But at the same time that they are actually like okay versus each other, Meepo is also incredibly strong versus all of them because he can stop a Queen of Pain from blinking. Uh, Enchantress will be stuck there as well and he doesn't want to be in the face of any of the heroes. And with the push you can just completely obliterate him. Rubik, he's, he's just not good versus Meepo. Unbrood, not that good either. I'm looking, the Phantom Assassin pick is a uh, pretty standard carry here. Yeah, the, the magic damage though, the, the pure damage I must say from Queen of Pain in the early game will do a lot versus him. Definitely. Although I think BBC is going to rely on is going to be... Um, yeah, W33 Five is just disconnected. Yes. But, yep. Oh man, well he will come back in time. I hope time. he had some more issues today with their internet. So we'll see if they, they should be able to get back there in time. Just yeah, no, but I think... Moment. Just quickly, BBC, I believe they want to get some early ganks. They want to use the Zeus and the Beastmaster, rotate around a bit, go roaming. Um, try and make sure that the Lundry gets shut down. Try and make sure the Queen of Pain can't Lina. gank on her own. But now they've got Lena, so that's going to be hard. And I'm make sure the PA is protected as well. I'm actually... Okay, W23 has reconnected. Uh, but I'm wondering how they're going to lane this. Like, Queen of Pain safe. Yeah, Jabs is playing it, so it's actually going to be Quap middle. Okay. No, he's a mid player. Oh, really? I'm I guessing Runen, Lone Druid carry, Enchantress jungle off lane. No, no I think it's, it's going to be lane. Lina Lundruid. safe, Lone Druid off lane, yep. Enchantress jungle, and Rubik. Morning, the Lina. Yeah, just support, yeah. I mean, L Dr Rubik, Lina. Um, can they? Do they have kill potential on the lane? Um, well, up to level six, I don't think they have too much. Lemon dogs? I don't think. No. I think that yeah, no, the, the no. early game will be won by uh, once they BBC. They just have more control, and their lanes are just stronger in overall. Five seconds Definitely. Remaining. And they can even just uh, keep the like lone root on the one side, and the boar on the other side. You just you know kill the beer, or and just yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, this is. It's uh, gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. And there's the complimentary pause. Ah oh, damn it! I forgot to change my hood back to the normal one. <laughs> I'm playing with the the Goldman right now. Okay, so he's back. <laughs> okay. It's I always forget to do that. It's like so terrible. <laughs> I already have to peer. I don't know why I called boar. Stupid. I want to say the Golden Hut. I don't have the Golden Hut for some reason. Oh. You don't, you don't have the gold hut? You don't have a compendium, I believe. Or do you? I do have a compendium. Ah, oh, well. What's your level? Probably level 1. <laughs> Boo! Boo! Anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's just get back to discussing quickly. Um, yeah, so Lemon Dogs is going to have... I mean, it's incredibly... I think their team is really greedy, to be honest. Yeah, like, you're, you're essentially just giving up your lanes here with the Enchantress. But all of these heroes, except for Rubik, need money. Well, Lina is also strong without it. Chantress can do stuff. But yeah, I mean, Lina needs XP, Lone, of course. Lone I mean, Druid that's, that's needs. Yeah, like, most of the heroes, once they get level 6, they are online, apart from Lone Druid. Lone Druid is just gonna have to keep farming. <laughs> Hoping you can get that. Uh, Radiance, I guess, up quickly. Radiance, maybe double Midas. Double Midas, holy crap. <laughs> it is on Luxembourg, I selected it, so. BBC, I'm guessing. Get it. I'm gonna guess the lanes quick on BBC. So it's gonna be a mid Zeus, most likely. Uh, into um, yeah, off lane Beastmaster with the tri lane bot with the Phantom Assassin tri lane bot. Yeah, tri lane bot with the Phantom Assassin line and of Shaker. Yeah, which of course, who is going to be playing the Zeus here? Look how it transition. <laughs> yeah, with W three three. He is going to be playing the Beastmaster, we have Flash on the PA. Uh, Levy is going to be playing the Lion, and Yepsor is going to be playing the Earthshaker. Okay, then. I, I believe, who was it? Uh, yeah, Flash was Exist. Yeah. Yeah. He was Exist. Okay, then. I'll be quickly presenting the other team, Lemon Dogs, with Steph Style on the Chantress, S Kill on the Lena. Jabs on the Queen of Pain, uh, Krilly on the Lone Druid, and last but not least, RS Loco on the Rubik, who has not loaded in yet. We'll be waiting for that. We also have a DC coming out here from, I believe it's Levy. Yeah, it's Levy. 
And I have forgotten to turn on my open mic. Ew. Well then, here we go. <laughs> to all the ticket viewers, I'm sorry. Uh... I do not believe that... These teams are both European, aren't they? Um, yes. LD is... I wanna say... Swedish. No, Japs is from Germany, but... I thought the other one might be Swedish or Finnish. And yeah. BBC is Eastern... I don't know which country exactly. I don't know who Hook is. <laughs> to answer the, the chat. Hook is, uh, is Hook. He hooks. Yes, unfortunately Zeus. he has not picked, uh, yeah, he's not picked, uh, Fudge, so you won't be able to see his remarkable name come into effect, but... The streams still aren't listed on uh, D2L, that's actually... I don't know. Well, we'll see. Um... LD, we are ready. Well, BBC doesn't seem to be ready. He has a disconnect from W3. Oh, no, he's uh, Levy. Okay. The first. Let's see. Let's get. Yeah, let, the first make of the lobby. I, I believe it was Hook who had troubles loading in. You see, I've got some problems here. Yep. Oh. It's, I don't know. Flash is drawing something. <laughs> Mathematics <laughs> on the, um, on the map going on here. 11, 7, 4. 11 minus 7 equals 4. Well then. Yes, we have all uh, gone through primary school. It's good to know that Flash can, uh, can count, I believe. To grade 4 -ish. He can calculate, wow. <laughs> He's 4, yes. What a joke. I'm amazed that he can actually... <laughs> no, I'm not amazed about it, that should just be bad. <laughs> this is just interesting, this is just... Uh, why do we always have this shit? <laughs> well, he, you can see my drawings, right? Yeah, you see... You. Yeah, but they're also drawing again. Yeah, I see it. It's four. I'm faster than him. I win. Did you have a nice day till now? Yeah, man, I have been studying all day long, so <laughs> I can't say that I had a nice day. <laughs> well, what can you do? Hey, Eris Loke is back. Levy is back as well. Oh my god. We, we've actually we've actually got a game, have we? Yes. Please. We're only 40 minutes late. <laughs> oh no, 30. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. Well, we finally got a game going, guys. Yes. So, I'm gonna assume the next match is just gonna be a little bit later then, but at least we'll see the, the lane shape up now. I assume it's just gonna be like... Jeps going. Wait. Okay, Jeps is going to the offlane. Uh, Jeps is going on the offlane? I thought he was, mid he was mid lane for Rise, that's why I thought he was here, but... It's fine. I... Yeah, they, they need Krilly to get a lot. Because if he doesn't get a lot, they're kind of in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Essentially, if they don't start snowballing, they are actually in a whole lot of trouble already. Yeah, they are. I mean, it's like um, Deuce. If he if he can just get a few kills and he's already got his and he can get those core items, then it's gonna hurt a lot. The Yapso it doesn't even need to get much. He just needs to reach level six and start echo slamming. Yeah, well, he can get blown up before he can get it off though. So. Yeah, but that's a good point, but. He just needs that blink, that level 6, and then he's basically golden. And Levy, same thing actually. I think it's a little bit optimistic to say that he gets a level 6 and a blink at the same time. I'm not, no, I, I didn't mean at the same time. <laughs> I know. That would be... I know. That, that, would that would be amazing. amazing. Yeah. Actually, that, that would be... So, that, that, that timing would be so good. That, uh... Yeah, pubs would be trying to recreate that timing for ages to come. <laughs> Well, Looks like we're gonna have a bit of a skirmish here then. Yeah, oh, there's gonna be the Fisher, but they're blocking to the outside. They just want to secure the bounty rune here. Okay. Levy goes nice in. Fisher. Goes in another Earth Spike as well. Boom. To guide to being a Dota I believe they also got the top rune on uh, W33. Yeah. 
Pretty wasn't contesting it, he just wants to block the lane. What did he get on his boar? Only bear. I was, why the hell am I calling him boar? What's wrong with me? It's a bear. It's a bear. I really pronounce it Dutch. Skin. Anyway, it's a panda bear, so uh, whatever. I can't even bend that today. It's so, well, we've got an offlane Quidditch completely against expectations and a lean no. mid. That yeah. was, well, I mean, like, we were expecting it to go safe. No, we were mid. expecting it to go mid, yeah. Well, fine. But this is because of, they don't know, Jeff's only as a as mid player. But Hold on. It's, it's probably the best offlane. Yeah, maybe the best offlane team might be Lone Root. But... Well, we've got a mid leaner, which is pretty standard. Um, we've got a jungle enchantress, which is pretty standard. We've got a Rubik supporting the Lone Druid, which is uh, pretty standard. <laughs> well, that's but not standard, usually. <laughs> Lone Druid doesn't I mean, have it's support. Not, dude, it's not standard, but you know, it's like, ah, oh, Rubik is. Ah, oh, Rubik could actually be roaming, you've got a point there. Like, he, he does need to help pretty a lot, not versus uh, uh, W33 on his Beastmaster. Yeah, not really. He's got the bear. So, that. The bear versus boar lineup. Ah, uh, there you go. I'm gonna miss. And oh, this already looks like Jabson is in a bit of a trouble here, but no, he's gonna get help. They're gonna smoke up here. They just smoked here. Eris Loco is coming together with uh, Steffi Stell. Steph Stell. They've got a centaur as well, which means they've got a stun, and well, they've got a guaranteed stun actually. I mean, if they if they can get telekinesis up. Line yeah. is fairly forward. I think they're gonna go for Levy here. There you go. Death smoke reveal. Yep. Lift up is there. Back. Oh ho ho! Nice. Earth spike. There's gonna be the Hex as well, they're still following him down. He has no more mana yet, Blink is there from Jeps, he's blocking him off and Steph gets the kill. They could have avoided the Earth Spike though. First time for yeah. The didn't come off in time. They could have maybe positioned himself a little bit differently, but in the end it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, but it looks like uh, skill, E-Skill might be in a bit of a jab. Oh, nice Fisher. Not the oh. best Fisher though. Oh, ah, just looks like oh. yeah, Earthshaker is gonna get a hit. No! No! Like he's oh. walking right the board, it hits! Oh, but, it was slow him! the courier, what's the courier doing? He's walking back, Courier's walking back, he's kill, he tries to nice. Oh, he didn't make it. The boar even slowed him. It's, it's gonna have been easier if, if uh, yeah, they shouted at Beastmaster a little bit earlier. Like, you know, W33. Get that boar to attack him, do it! No, a kill is a kill, anyway. <laughs> so it was definitely worth it, especially because the offshake and these those levels. Yeah, with being roaming like this. We'll have to. We need to level pick two up now already, which is pretty good. Zeus so level four and E skill level three. So, oh, but look at this! It's like a BBC stacking the enemy. Uh, LD stacking the enemy jungle. He's, he has a welding ripper, so he will just try to take it with the tornado. There you go. Like usually, I would say risky play, but it doesn't look like anyone's going to check. So, yeah, I don't think they will contest this one. And I don't no, even know. I'm not even sure if they know it. <laughs> but this really is having a good time. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Let's see how many lost it. Seventeen. This isn't 17. the best. I mean, but it's top of the chart. No, 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 no. It's, no. It, it's together with uh, with flesh. But W three three is now going to start trying to engage. But he's already got wild access level two, so he can't do much. Yeah, with the boar, he can. I think the spirit boar has been respawned once yesterday. Almost. Ah, I just missed. Oh, yeah. now Earthshaker spots out those two doing their shenanigans. Yeah, he's gonna get lifted. We're gonna get put back there into the centaur stomp. And oh, but here comes Zeus. Yeah, Hook is walking in, but he's actually blocking oh, Jeff, sir. Oh. What? <laughs> well, that was not nice. That wasn't really good. And now, now they, if they just would have hold out a bit more, here, here's, here's BBC. And Le Levy is hex. coming in here. There's gonna be X as well, but are they, oh, they have but to Hook, perfect block by Steph Stone. Yeah, but they have, of course, still the arc. And oh no, Hook. They need two more hits. Welding Ripper is not gonna get him. He is too fast and he has his bottle. And Debbie is now soloing Steph style. <laughs> yeah, he has his haste, so he will eventually get this. Except Lina. Yep. Yeah. And he's dead. Nice. Flash is coming in to reap the rewards, but doesn't get anything, I believe. Oh, he has a DD now. So. so... Oh, nice block by Earthshake. <laughs> Comes a bit late, but otherwise. At least stopped him from less hitting for a little bit. That's a good point. Jeffs? He's not having a good time at all. Well, actually, it's, it's quite some CS, but level 4 versus... He's actually doing really well, but uh, actually the support's rotating all that much. He hasn't been contested that much. I was expecting yeah. a bit more of that. Oh, but now, that DD on the PA is dangerous. You don't want to get grabbed by that. That just took off half of his health instantly. So, there you go. Yeah, this... 
KFC is not gonna have a fun time, but the DD already ran out, so. And actually, one thing I'm wondering what will be the, like, the first major item of Krilly? On PA or? No, no. Oh, on Krilly. Uh, the LD. Yeah, he, does, he, didn't go, he didn't go for Midas, so. At least not for Midas first. He, he got Facebook first. Supports are smoked up, I think. They will try to loop and get him. They'll send yeah, the Hawk out. Yeah. Four, but it doesn't matter as long as they stay back like this. They have a smoke, but 20 seconds left, maybe leads. But he's retreating, and there is Yapsor as well as backup, so. Yeah, they, they know there's something up, so they're staying back. Oh, 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 this, this might oh. be bad, this might be bad. Oh, no. Yep, they've w seen him, they see him, they see him. No, they don't see him yet. Now they see now him. Now they see him. And there's gonna be the lift up. There's gonna be but the clip. Fissure as well. Steph can't get out of there right now, but they will be able to get W33. Or will they? This actually takes quite long. He has to go back. The boar slowing him too much there. And now they're gonna re-engage. Yeah, Hook is there right now. He wants to get off the lightning. Oh, there he goes. Steph's taking a lot of damage. Iskill is here as oh. well. He's level 6, but doesn't have enough mana for his Laguna Blade. The Beastmaster was able to get the Enchantress. Pretty good pick off there. Manages to use wild axes to get that snipe, and they didn't kill the Beastmaster in turn, so it's a net loss as well because then that, that that's that roaming when you're roaming, you don't want to die. <laughs> Let's no. just put it that way. Definitely uh, puts them behind by quite a bit, actually. That's already two deaths on the Enchantress. When did she die before? Oh yes, she died because of. Yeah, I might remember now. Um. <laughs> At least they're stacking the. They're actually stacking the Asians quite well for the for the Beastmaster to get uh, back into the game. Yeah, definitely. And we're back into the game. I of course mean, want to say get, get ahead. Yeah. Because <laughs> he already isn't. He isn't doing that badly. Yeah, he's doing fine. He got a lot of the upline, but same goes of course for Jabs. He does have 21 uh, 21 last hits in comparison to 12 though. So you've got to keep that in mind. Yeah, and also got a little bit. Well, XP is. I want to say about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. And Jeps, he's level 6, and he, oh Jeps, I mean W33, he's, he's level 6, he's trying to look for a raw target in the middle. Lina is walking back though. Radiant structures are fortified. And no one to be found here. So he will just go walk up the top and try to get pretty, but he has 1300 HP and 10 armor, so he's not the easiest target. Oh, we might have an engagement here on bot once we see each other. Hook is walking in. That piece there, they see Levy? No. Oh, there's a wild ring ripper there. They are, they, are they just creep skipping here? Oh, hook! Oh, he's a little bit forward. He's gonna get lift. He's gonna get back. He's gonna get put into a dragon slave. There's the vision to flip him up. Oh, dude, look at the damage going into Eris here. But yeah. In, oh, yeah, there nice. you go. Flash came in. <laughs> Flash comes in, gets the kill. Once again, that lost foot in LD at the moment because they were roaming and. Uh, if you die while roaming, that's bad, really bad. Yeah, Hook just comes in, they start to fight and they get out again. I think they did actually a lot of damage in there. Yeah, 1500 damage to like 430 out of LD. It wasn't really a fight, it was more of a retreat for, uh, for Lemon Dogs there. They're just gonna reset now, just, you know, get all the mana back, and, all the, and just keep farming, keep farming up the items as well as Hook. Well, one thing is gonna be happening, Iska's doing a lot of damage to the tier 1 here in the middle. With the DD on him. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good point. 500, down to 500 health, so... If they... just a bit of a push and then they can take the tier 1 mid. Yeah. And they've got that... look at this ward right here, look at this ward by bot. That is, I think, perfectly placed, I believe. Uh, just outside the oh, tower Oh yeah, this, yeah. They had place it before when, once they tried to go for it, nah. but, you know, and the end result was... I believe Enchant was dying again. No, it wasn't Enchantress who died. Uh, Rubik. Ooh. That was my mistake. There we go. Sometimes I press the wrong button on my mouse and I get like that. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good enough? Anyway, yeah. So, now that W33 has his level 7, I would expect him to go roaming a bit. Just try and pick off, get some pick off somewhere. Yeah, he's been trying to do that all the time, but he's just getting spotted out with all those. Uh, and there you go. The hawk is dead, but he. There's those wards, you know, the pesky wards, and they go and they go in, but oh, -ho! there's gonna be the crit coming out of flash, killing of Jabs. Eris is not gonna get the return kill, He's just gonna die there. It's a two, uh, well, it's actually a double kill going the way of flash. Yeah, look, look at this stack, oh, look at this ancient stack. How much, how, how much is that? Like, uh, that's four or five, no, that's five stacks, I believe. That's a pentastic. 
It's a Penta stack. They do have a lot of uh, HP now because of the uh, the grenade aura. That's yeah. a point. But yeah, that was a two for nothing once again of going to BBC. And now LD has to look for some alternatives because they're not snowballing. No, not at all. And really, he doesn't really have anything yet. He has 2.3k gold, so. He hasn't bought Midas with it. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna go Radiant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, what else would you get? Well, you're saving 2,400 gold. That's a lot of gold on in this stage, in this phase of the game. That's right. Is you? But you can already pretty much buy it. Yeah, you can already like sort of buy it. You can get the Mithril Hammer at least. Yeah, plus the gloves. You only have the recipe left. Yeah. Hmm. Rubik, of course, is nothing because uh, it's a Rubik. Well, he's one for a one. Yeah. If you have enough chances. Um, <laughs> and Queen of Pain also doesn't have. Really, she doesn't have anything. She has a bottle and power trays, and that's it. Well, for an off lane co-op, it's okay. He got some less hits. He's getting more now, uh, given being given the save lane. Oh, well, you got that, but still. She got the levels. I, I think she got more than enough out of the off lane. And they're actually smoking aggressively again into the Radiant Jungle. Yeah, they're gonna find. Uh, oh, they're, they're gonna, gonna find, find Flash. PA? They're gonna find Flash on the back. Yeah, she's probably dead. She's probably there dead. There's gonna be the net onto him. There you go. There's gonna be lightning strike array. Oh, Laguna Blade. And he's just gonna die there. It, still, it's a four man rotation coming out there for Flash. It's, of course, worth it because they're, they're gonna get the Ooh, tier but one. Yep, so. Oh, he's gonna delay this. Is the reaction gonna come out? Oh, oh. they're looking for him. They wanna get him. Of course, they're gonna get him, but he's just gonna go walk back. Yeah, for me. <laughs> he's got boots as well. Oh, he's actually walking under the die ward here, but. Yeah, and there you go, LD or Lemon Dogs are gonna get their second tower of the game right now. They're actually quite a, they have a pretty big tower lead. Of course, with Greedy in the top being able to push the one down. There's Loka. Uh, yeah, you got this uh, Arcane's now, though. Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a plus if you can actually buy them. Now, obviously. They steal the, the double stack. You get a D ward off here as well. Yeah, and they're doing a four-man roaming now. And yeah, oh no, now they split up into. Two. Well, they were doing four-man roaming, and um, there are advantages and disadvantages. At this at, the, at this state, I think it's more advantageous to go four-man because you have a better chance of actually getting a kill. Uh, yeah. Especially considering like Zeus is level what, what is he level eight? Well, then fine, be level. But Earthshake's level six. Is that Fisher and Bine is level eight as well? That's pretty interesting. Yeah, but they really are. Just look at the map control now coming out of the Lemon Dogs. They have two, two tier tier ones. They have multiple wards, aggressive wards out. Like the jungle. Oh no, no. There's gonna be a uh, W33. He got up his uh, his BOTs already. Beat these two Hawk and just roar into the uh, Iris Loco. They kill him off there. That oh, was well. very too aggressive. Yeah, Ruby didn't. Wasn't. Ha did <laughs> Didn't have the time to buy his energy booster. He didn't buy his energy booster, which is interesting. No, he was still walking around there, but he, he has the money again now. Maybe he goes for something else. Think first. It's an option. It's a little bit greedy, but it's an option. Like, if you can get more mana, you can get the enchantress to get more impetus off. So. Okay. I wanna go, you wanna do that, and S skill also needs it. Oh, that's, that's a good point. He needs, he needs that blink, he needs to... Yeah, but I would say Yules is almost... On a, a skill? Yeah. Yeah, that would be great, but... He has 2.5k, so I'm thinking he's gonna go that. You can buy all the components from base, so... Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm not completely sure what he's waiting for, them. It's like most pro players, they have a lot of gold saved up for some reason, and they just buy everything at once. I'm not even sure why. I mean, maybe it's just because of buyback, but uh, you're losing a lot of gold if you die anyway, so... Maybe like at 40 minutes, it's a little bit... Yeah. But there is the second relic up on Critic. Oh, oh that's he's killed. Nice. <laughs> he got blown up. Oh, and there's there's the Beastmaster as well. <laughs> it's gonna be the roar again. But he, now he's not gonna get any less hits off because of uh, the tech slow there. Oh, no. He's gonna get stuck there, and Critic is just gonna follow us up. He's gonna look for Jepsor, and there's gonna be the Fisher. That was and a very lucky entangle, though. Yeah. Well, this will be a lucky entangle. And there you but go, there it is. Jepster, he gets off an enchant totem, but he will so easily die here. Double kill going the way of Curly. 
But here comes Flash in with his uh, almost like zero items considering. <laughs> he doesn't have his Battle Fury yet. I mean, he has the Puzzle Rage, he has the Ring of Aquaria. Is he able to do enough damage is the question. He has level 2 coup de, coup de Gras, but uh, that only increases the crit damage and not the crit chance. Oh, he's close to Battle Fury though, so it's fine. Close, it's close, but it's like in his current inventory, he probably wouldn't have been able to do much against the Lone Druid. Hmm. Well, if he jumps on Lone Druid, he should be able to kill him off if the bear is not there back in time. We get maybe one or two lucky crits. Should be almost all of the life of him. They're really. Well, yes, and there is the Sacred Relic on the bear, so they are going Radiance. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there's gonna be another fish here on Iski. Oh, they just blow him up with the finger there. Steph, he tries to turn oh. this one around, but this is gonna be an echo there. Earth Spike as well. Steph is still alive here. Is he, is he gonna get a return kill? No, he's not. Lightning Arc is there. Oh, there's gonna be the Sonic Wave. Hitting only one, actually. Jepster, they're still gonna go against here. Jeps is now gonna die as well. This is gonna be a triple kill, and this is just a celebratory fissure hitting nothing. Wanted to get the Rubik, but didn't get exactly. <laughs> Reach him. Is this and Android is. Yeah, oh. just... Oh. No, Urspike there. Flash might be a little bit over aggressive. He is gonna get lift up as well. Urspike is too late to save him. Pretty is going after Levy here right now. Bears, ba bears back to him. The boar, however, is spawned from W3 to delay him, but Radius is doing his work. Killing off Levy here. Fortify use on the tier 1 tower. And this hawk is gonna die to the, to, to the Radius burn. That was just clean up right there. Lone Druid getting a triple kill in return. No, no triple, but yeah, he got a double kill and managed to destroy the tower, so basically a triple. Eh, more than worth it. Especially now, that that gave him a lot of gold, 1,500, so we can definitely go for his next item now. He can start building up to it. What do you think he will be getting next? That's a good question. I'm not sure I don't play enough of Druid to be. I mean, after Radiance, what do you get? Well, there are several options. You can either already go full on split push, maybe get an AC, get a... Uh... Even Vladimir is pretty good on him, but that, that's usually something you pick up a little bit later and you, you carry it on your yep. main hero. Uh, Milstrom for split push. I just want to well, see Agonims. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was thinking, like, why do. Maybe he just wants to get an axe. I mean, the bear is going to be doing most of the work anyway. Yeah. They can really start split pushing. Now he can. He's got the Radiance already, so. Oh, he's got the plate now, so he's going AC. Or there's, there's always the other option. Where's the bear? Where did he put the bear? I can find the bear. The bear is next to him. Oh no, right there. Down at the bot lane. With the smoke ah, gang coming in on the Beastmaster. Yeah, they're gonna look for him. They do have lockdown for him. There's him. gonna be the Hulk. <laughs> they see him. But there's gonna be the jump in. There's gonna be the lift up. W33 he is gonna die here for sure. And the bear is take, boar's taken over. And this is a color bear. Lemon Dogs, yeah. Lemon Dogs is now looking on the comeback here. After having a... Very bad early game. I mean, like, it wasn't too bad, but oh. it was bad. Network, they were always ahead, only XP, they were a little bit behind sometimes. It wasn't really a time they were really behind because of the towers that they were getting. I guess, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, just getting it up. I mean, Enchantress was having a bad time, and so was Ruby, but, uh... Yeah, LD, actually, LD is... <laughs> oh, LV, he's stuck now. Yeah, make him into a big... In, yeah, into a fish, he won't stop that. He's gonna be the fisher there. Trying to stop this pursuit there. That Yules, and there we go, a Yules on Dina. So I'm guessing you should just save the full call to buy it instantly. Which yeah. doesn't make much sense, but, like, which didn't make much sense before the game. You might be able to get the boar he bear here before it uh, can get respawned again. Uh, dies to the tower, so it's fine. And they just run straight back in with this new bear, but there's gonna be the fish here keeping them out. They're not going to kill the bear, it's just too much. They've, he's now got 16 armor with, with 2,700 2, life. It's not going to be easy to kill that bear. Not at all. I might even just pick up a uh, BOT's on, uh, pretty soon as well. Might as well counter the, the global from the beast muscle with the hawk with uh, a little bit of BOT's yourself. That makes sense, yeah. <sighs> Man, I... I was, I was thirsty when casting, I don't know why. Why? I can understand why. It's annoying. <laughs> um, so we're, we're seeing um, our King Boots on the uh, Upshaker, which makes sense. I mean, the other build is to go Trank's Soul Ring, but then you can't build up into the Guardian's Greaves. But will you get the Guardian Greaves? You will first go for the uh, Blink Dagger, of course. Yeah. 
And after that, you, before you have the Guardian Griefs, you're usually already 15 minutes later. Heck, you're, you're at least 10 minutes later before you get your mecha. Unless you get some crazy team fight. I mean, the yeah, I mean, this, this is the problem with our game. Uh, this is the problem with the Guardian Griefs. It's, they're always a bit late because you have to build more supports. But here we go. Yeah, they're gonna but look the, for the wrap around the middle here. But you know what? I'm, I'm, the reason I'm thinking that is because there's nothing on Lion, and the only other thing here I can imagine building that could be either be Lion or. Okay, Green. there you go. They find Eris Loco. Yeah, there's gonna be a Thunderous Corvette as well. East Coast first one to fall, next one is Eris. Now they're gonna try and get this bear here before he can get back to his master. They're just gonna keep on going after him. The Mischance is doing a lot though, and they're actually taking a lot of damage here. They're gonna fight in the back line again, and Levy, he's gonna die here to the last impetus. And yeah, this was. They didn't even get the bear. Oh, they bought back here on their heroes. I don't want to go after Flash here, and he's gonna jump away. He's actually dodging the impetus here, so that's good. There's Loki, he takes away the fish. He's gonna look for a return fish here, keeping them out. Flash, oh, he walks into E skill. He's gonna be able to go back to Jepstor here. And I think a buyback's used there. They actually used two buybacks to pick up the other two kills. Actually, quite a commitment from, uh, from Lemon Dogs. And that's, I mean, yeah, they have the buybacks. Although, buybacks are not only on Lead and Rubik, so they have buybacks on all the other heroes if they need them. If they need them, which I don't think they will. But they did, ki they killed, oh, they're going Rosh, which is even better. Yeah, they, they will need to. If you just get those two kills with your uh, buybacks, it's not really worth it. Yeah, that's just what I think. But if you get Rosh as well, then it's totally worth it. Um, Probably gonna give this, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna give it to Quap, okay. Yeah, he can go aggressive now. It's not like really needs it. Not really. <laughs> uh, East kill. Yeah, he just used his buyback though. Maybe East kill would have been nice as well. But once he gets off his Laguna Blade, it's also already fine. Yeah, Krilly is definitely going AC now. What did he pick up? He picked up the Harvester. Yeah. He almost got it now then, yeah. So, there's already an Arcs Queen of Pain, which means her ult is just going to hurt so much. Yeah, and with such a low cooldown, it's really nice. Wow, well, yeah. They're actually split but pushing here with Hoot and Pop. <laughs> That's not something you see every day. <laughs> split pushing Zeus. And then, new meta. He's gonna get meta. a Desolator next. You know, <laughs> oh, ignore the point booster. He's just gonna get a Desolator. <laughs> of course, of course, That's because that's what you build, of course. Yeah, that's the normal Zeus build up, you know. What else you have? Let's see, real fast. Yeah, you know, you get... You just have some boots, a nice soaring, point boots you use, and then you just buy, buy a desolator like, you know, screw it. You know what else is funny? Is that uh, Enchantress now has a Glimmer Cape, which means... It is not she's... Yeah, it's gonna be... Although that's gonna take away uh, What's that? A third of the... Uh, oh no, who? <laughs> oh! That's gonna be the use, but it doesn't really matter. It just saves his life for one... Or second, or two. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Instantly cancel TP. Yeah. You can't go in here. This is just tier, tier 2 tower gone. It's gonna be fisher to annoy them a little bit. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna keep on going here. Yeah. I say, I mean, like, Enchantress is now really hard to kill. Well, yeah. Um, and you can even put it on the bear as well. Oh, we have that. Oh my god. Which means the bag. Oh, that just yeah. did that. <laughs> I think I just want to talk about it. It actually makes him the bear even more tanky. Because, yeah, he actually has a lot of magical resistance already. I never know the exact stats of it because it's like... You just bought back, actually. That's just... What? Yeah, he had to. If he didn't buy back, he would have taken the base over. Just run in there, they get some damage going. Yeah, let's not... Net worth. I mean, Flash is second, but LD already has most of what he needs. Really. He has an AC on the bear already. He has... All he... What does he need now, is the question. Or really? He can get whatever he wants. I, I'm yeah, that's say. the point. Yeah. I mean, why not just get an Ox? Make sure the bear can just stop <laughs> running around. I, I think our casting is influenced by what we want. And they're gonna go on Jabs here. They're gonna fissure him. They're gonna hex him. There's, there's gonna be the first Aegis gun there. They'll try to oh, go spike here. By oh no, Jabs. He's gonna die here as well. They keep ahead. They have to lock down for him. But they're gonna turn this one around with the bear. Pretty is running in here. He's doing a lot of damage. There's gonna be the Laguna killing off. Somebody as well. There's gonna be the raw again on W33 on S kill. And oh he's Oh yeah, W3 Oh the Echo Slam there! It's gonna keep W33 alive for now. But the bear is there. He's gonna kill him off with the radiance. Jeff, so he's trying to run away from Jeff. But Jeff is keeping the urn on him so he can't blink out. He will need to reapply it soon or he will be able to do it. There you go, there's again Fisher is there as well, but he won't be able to escape here. He's just gonna yep. get run down. 
Dead yaps. And Jeff sure is dead. Triple kill going away from Damn, I lost Missing. what was happening there. I wasn't even. Where did the Laguna Blade on? Uh, I'm not sure. I miss engagement by BBC though. They get the Yap Sword twice, but it sets up for. They're not Yap Sword. What am I talking about? They get. Um, jabs. They get Thanks. jabs and jabs twice, but that oh. sets up perfectly for all the others. Oh, nice no, crit. That was a crit there. Now they're gonna look for Jeff style here. He has the Glimmer Cape, but it will only protect him for so long. Oh, there you go. Now, now you see PA slowly starting to come online. Very slowly, but she's starting to come online with those two 1,215 crits. So, yeah. Well, I don't want to say slowly because he already got his BKB now as well. He's must have got oh, his well, there you go. next level in the... <coughs> All he needs to do is hit that crit. All he needs to do is hit that crit. Then he's, then he's, then he's golden, basically. Yeah, but the one problem is if he gets hit... Yeah, okay, he has a BKB now, but yeah. Once, ah, it, once the BKB is off, he gets his minus 30% miss rate because of the uh, radiance. Uh, oh yeah, they changed that effect, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 30 or 70? Ah, I'm not even sure. Fuck. I think it's 17. Yeah, I think so yeah, as well. Yeah, but we can't see the bear, so unfortunately we can't. Tell you. Yeah, it's 17, yeah. You're right. I always forget it, like... I just... I don't know why. You don't see the bear that often. That's a problem. He will be coming in play a little bit more now because you with the exit upgrade and some other minor buffs, but yeah. I can believe it's actually my first time casting alone Ruth. Yeah, because we, he hasn't been picked a lot. I'm guessing it's just because you need to He hasn't been picked, he wasn't picked six point eight three. He was picked one i uh, nah he was picked on and off, but his problem mainly was that he required insane amounts of farm. I believe. He still does. Yeah actually. He still does, but now you can get it easier. Oh. They're gonna get the cape from the bear, but the bear is still blocked off here by this fish, and this is gonna kill off the bear. Oh, that's gonna be the use though. Lightning strike away, it's gonna hit flesh. They're gonna lo lose the bear still, or. No! The uh, Jeb, she just gets a kill on flesh here! Like, this is death! Now they're gonna go after Jeb, there's gonna be the, the finger, there's gonna be oh, all of these kills casting here. Oh, fing other finger as well. Stolen! Ah, good play by the Rubik over here. Now, Hook is fighting up versus Jeff, so he's not gonna right click him down here. That's just not gonna work. There's gonna be the kill on him. And. Echo Nobukon is not. He's just standing still here, okay. They just focus everything on the bear. I think that's that mistake. That, I think that's their mistake. They, they, they do an all in on the bear. And the. It's it's not. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. They don't have enough burst to bring down the bear before. He, they have to count him as a second hero now. Yeah, because this is not working the way they're doing it right now. And they they gotta need to go actually Shivas. go on like yeah. They need to actually go on Lone Druid on the actual hero and just kill him off before he can, yeah before so and they get to get then they get the bear. I mean it's three hundred gold yeah, but if the entire if the bear's staying alive and load and the entire enemy team is killing you, is it three hundred gold really that much? That worth it? I don't think so. Well, not for <laughs> your your what is it your main hero dying? That's not what you want. And Lemon Dogs yeah having another pass here. Still no Bloodstone on the Zeus because, oh man, the buyback on is just hurting him so much. Let's see, Jebster, he's, he has his blink building up first uh, towards. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be four stuff. Do you think? On Jebster? Yep, so, um. Maybe just for more mobility, maybe? Yeah, four stuff might be okay. I mean, with a Staff of Wizardry, it's hard to say because you can build a lot of things from a Staff of Wizardry. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna guess either four stuff or Yules. Those are the two options. And four stuff sounds a lot more. Or Necrobook. Necrobook, maybe. Just make sure the split push is there. Um, I have a level three already on W three three, so. Two Necrobooks? Why not? <laughs> he doesn't have his level. Oh, he's at level two. I thought it was already level three because he had had this for some time. Already never got the gold for level three, but uh, he should be able to get it now, shouldn't he? Yeah, should be able to, uh, like a hundred gold. You should be able to get that easily. Next wave. It, yeah, I don't think PA uses BKBs though, so it still has 10 seconds. At least I got that going for them. But still, she died, so... Yeah. <sighs> the BKB though, BKB while killing the bear would have probably killed the bear because she did crit once. I, I did see her critting once, but I think something happened that the crit didn't actually hit or something. No, no, the crit hit, but after the crit hit, he would just put him to the air with the use, lightning strike away, and then just killed off. Uh. 
And from there on, the team fight went well for Lemondox. The finger got stolen by. Uh, I mean, the Echo Slam looked amazing. The Echo Slam looked amazing, but they, but Steph they turn, style, yeah. yeah, Steph style just stayed in the woods a bit, just out of vision, and killed up all the damage done to her with uh, Nature's Attendant. So, yeah, not that good. The Glimmer Gap is really potent for this lineup. There's a lot of magical damage. BBC, Zeus. Yeah, Earthshake, Elion is... Yeah, all these three heroes just rely on magical damage. It's gonna be... T Who's actually ahead right now? Yeah, Lemondox still is ahead. Just over 5k. It's not the biggest lead though. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not the huge lead that people expect. It's more of a... You can catch that up. In, with a PA, if she... Get a bit more farm, then she can really easily catch that up. What do you think? Like, one team fight will decide it all. That's what I'm thinking right now. Like, if either of these teams wins the team fight on a good ba on a good uh, yeah, place, like at the you know, enemy towers, then it should be able to just completely push down the base. That's a good point. Uh, if we look at buyback status quickly, maybe we can sort of see that. Um, there's, but there, yeah, here we go. There's buybacks up on LD, and I'm not sure how much gold. There's 2070, so I'm guessing Lena wants to finish that Ugs first, but. I guess she could buy a component and still have... Yeah, she can buy a component and still have buyback ready, so... She doesn't need to finish the Args yet. The Abstod, uh... Not sure, he probably wants... To, the Yogra Cub suggests BKB. On Jeps? Yep. Yeah, I think so. so it would BKB. be a good pickup for... At least the Radiance Burn is not there, all the magical damage... Negated. Or, sorry, Radiance Burn is of course his own team. Hello, me. Oh. <laughs> just, just you know, it negates all the Zeus damage, it negates all the uh, Earthshaker damage as well. Nine as negates, well. Yeah, nine. No so it does a lot, it does a lot, but the problem is the PA can still blow her up if she wants to. I mean, it's actually going to be hard because the PA can't jump on her once it's there, so they will need to ah, walk. PA well, still needs go. to walk there, while the PA is walking there, there's still the chance for Entangle that goes through BKB, so... It goes through BKB, right? Um, yeah, Why the hell I does guess. It yeah, it goes through BKB, I was wondering, like, it should be, yeah. It didn't change that, so... That's gonna be tough. And with the BKB only can just jump around, they will need to roar to lock him down, but... Yeah, That's it's funny, even... Even Rubik has buyback. <laughs> like, what? Well, actually, the only one who doesn't have it on the side of Lemondox is uh, Krilly. What did he pick up for an item, or... He didn't die that fight, did he? He didn't. He must yeah. have picked something up. I think before the fight he picked up the... Uh, oh, the play, play mail? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, Sheevers. Okay then. Yeah. I said it before, Sheevers. Yeah, you did. I, I thought you meant it on someone else. Um, so that's just going to be a full armored up there, so he's going to be like almost impossible to kill. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Like, even the crit damage gets blocked, uh, gets blocked by armor, I believe. So... Yikes. Like I'm looking at that armor and thinking like, will three crits kill kill the spare? And I'm and I'm gonna just say out of what I think is gonna be no. Well, I was having a little bit in the chat. I was a little bit preoccupied by there. Wait, what were we saying? We don't we have all the time, so <laughs> You said something about an item. Yeah, the thing is, it's like, I believe that even if she triple crits the bear, like, uh, PA triple crits the bear, she will not get a kill. Let's see, damage air put is 200, could cross 3, or 450? Okay. 450, 200, 4, 800, here's 2400, minus armor reduction. Comes down to about 1200 damage. Okay then. Well then, triple crit will probably kill the bear. <laughs> no, but double crit won't, and double crit is no, already no, tri hard to get. No, no, triple crit won't actually. Um, uh, the damage is four hundred. Uh, I mean two hundred and something. To let's say just two thirty. Two thirty times four fifty is four. Is nine twenty plus hundred. Just over thousand, thousand fifty. Let's say that times three, three thousand minus sixty six armor reduction comes down oh. to. 
Oh, pretty much 1230 on it. And that will actually mean that the spirit, spirit Bear is still alive after three crits of a PA. Which is incredibly hard to get anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Oh man. Takes a long. But yeah, the bear won't die soon. And you're not even calculating in. Well, okay, if he has a BKB on. But if he doesn't have his BKB on, you have that 70% miss chance. Um, pause time. Pause time policies. Uh, I believe we have 10 to 15 minutes. I hope they'll fix it in time. Because we should actually be into the second game now. Oh man. We always get this shit. Yes, blame the DDoSers, please. Uh, I got the manager actually, he's saying that it's DDoS, but. Uh, our policies do say that. Yeah. We have to we have to continue after ten minutes. Yep. And then BBC can decide if they want to use the pause time as well. Yes, the problem with DDoSing guys is um I believe Valve I believe it has to directly affect uh people, so if um <clears throat> If you're being DDoSed, then usually you're gonna ha you, you you're being you're broadcasting something publicly, publicly, or your Skype. Uh, yeah, exactly, and Skype, and that's a problem. This is why people you should not use Skype if you're playing competitive games. I believe that was actually a problem. It was with Skype. <sighs> so please, guys, do not use Skype when playing competitive games. It's a bit of a brain ache. Even just just use Teamspeak or something. It's not that hard to set up a server. Uh, I can even say you that they are using Teamspeak instead of Skype. Okay, then they probably got a public server or something. Because if it's a DDoS, then. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty bad, man. Really. Oh, back to um... the dancing. Da, 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 da. This is too long. When did the pause hit exactly? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't help. How much time? Well then. Um, I'm gonna say 1D. I think that should be over 10 minutes already. The pause rule is in, on our website. Uh, it essentially just says that they have 10 minutes. And it's closing on 10 minutes. They will have to decide if they play 4v5. But considering their state, I would consider a 4v5 to be advantageous. Lemon Dogs? Or BBC? Yep. No, Lemon Dogs. Even though they are playing 4v5, they have an advantageous position, so. Mm, yeah, a little bit. Losing their Lina. Uh, Lina isn't the most. 
Uh, this is micro skill intensive hero like you can still do it with just give it to Rubik or something Although Rubik does need to watch out during fights. I'm guessing give it to the enchantress since she has the micro everything anyway Yeah, she doesn't have that much if you just put impetus on the uh, just on right click maybe Just watch out what you right click before that have enough mana you should be able to get things off don't get a creep Yep, that's a good point Oh man, I need to get like a stop watch or something and just click it in every time people pass because this is... Ugh. Oh man, DDoS. Well, we're sorry for this guys. Lemon Dogs has to continue this match with uh, one less player. Uh, I can't do anything about it, I'm sorry. We'll see how it ends. Maybe Lemon Dogs will win with it. We don't know. It, uh, teams have won with one person less. So, wouldn't be the first time to see. Yes. Uh, people are saying that he's watching porn right now. What do you think? Morality? I think that's uh, that. Sorry, I don't <laughs> think that's. Uh... You left me. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> oh, me. No, I'm joking. But yeah, what do you think? Uh, no, I don't think he's watching. I, I think if it's legitimately a deep issue. Yeah. Sorry uh, for LD. Yeah, lemon dogs will need to. Hey, you, look at this. You're just gonna bait this one out with Krilly with the bear. I just try to get a fight going and then from that on end it straight away. Oh, but it looks like I can actually try and base race this. Long block. Versus the bear? I think. Mm, actually, there's Necro Book on the side of BBC, so I think BBC actually has maybe a little bit more. I'm not completely sure. But then we'll just keep on going here. Ah, uh, no, he's a TP back from Earthshaker, but how much is he gonna stop? Well, they're gonna get more TPs in right now. Oh, actually, TP wants someone out of the base. Hook, he's out of the base. He's gonna get initiated up. The fish there is however is going to block them up. Oh, Echo Slam is there as well. Oh no, this is gonna be Steph still, he's still alive though. They don't see him. Okay. So still, is Krilly. So still, is Krilly still alive. It's so far it's two for zero trade, but they're gonna get more here on the back. Eris Loco. Yeah, okay, he's gonna get Oh the Earth Spike hitting to actually Steffi. Yeah, he's gonna die as well. Krilly is now also gonna die. This is a five. Man, oh, wow. wipe. What a wipe though. This might have changed the game. Yeah, this is essentially the the advantage they had and then, well, gone and <laughs> the advantage to BBC. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. This was, I think, a little bit of a Hail Mary. Play like, you know guys, we have, we're one player down, let's just go in and do it. You can at least attempt it and see what happens. And unfortunately, what happened wasn't the best. Zeus just managing to get his combo off and staying alive. He stayed alive, you know. That was the one thing. You know, managing to get his combo off uh, before taking considerable amount of damage, before I thought he would have died, then that was probably the game changer. If they would have killed him before Zeus would have got the combo off, I believe they would have won that fight. Yeah, definitely. If Zeus is dead, would have taken a lot of damage there. Now they're also going to get Aegis on the side of BBC. Exis is able to get it. He's about to get yeah. knocked over. That Echo Slam, once again, excellent Echo Slam on the side of the Yapsaw. Yeah, he's just hitting it all the time. Boom, Echo Slam. <laughs> oh man, if they just hit the combos, it does so much damage on the side of BBC. And I'm, I was thinking, you know, into the late game, into the late game, and they probably would have fallen off a bit, but the thing is, is that the only one, the only person who really has the late game items he needs, I believe, uh, is Lone Druid. On the side of Lemon Dogs? Yeah. Let's see, Queen of Queen of Pain, Pain has an axe, but. Jeb, Jeb doesn't have his BKB yet. An axe is good, but that's not enough. Rubik, he doesn't have his uh, blink yet. Eskil, he is close to his Agonims. Only the leaves. Nobody actually has a soul team. Was on BBC, they have Hook. Well, he doesn't have a lot, or. Oh, he actually got this uh, Bloodstone now. Oh, Eskil? No, um, hang on. Hook. Ah, hook. Wow, that's that's actually pretty good. Means he now has enough mana to do anything he wants. Yeah. 
Um, only good thing for Lemondogs is they don't have any BKBs yet. So like the thing of... Oh no, Flash goes oh, in there. Echo Slam is there as well. Oh, look at the damage going after Flash. But he still, of course, has his Aegis. He will just keep on going strong here. W33 throws up. Jeff, she's going to blink out. Uh, wow, no. what a lucky crit. Yeah, Savage is going to die. Dragon I Slay. I think this is it. Yeah, they're not going to be able to defend this. They will need to well, buy they're, back they're, on Heroes. Yeah, they have to buy back on the Druid and on Rubik. Maybe not Rubik, but they have to buy back on the Druid if they want to defend this. Okay. This is really unfortunate for... Uh, I don't think they would have done that push without the one person down. Yeah, but BBC just managing to you know, kill, kill off Krilly. I think they noticed. We don't have to kill the bear. We have to kill the guy who controls the bear. Yeah, and then the bear is dead as well. Yeah, and I mean, he doesn't have he doesn't have anything in comparison. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, Sonic Wind. Oh. And he doesn't, have, he doesn't have anything in comparison. He has he gets the Yorus from the bear, and that's it. And oh, no, he's Eskil, like he's already dead. Right now, Krilly comes back in. That's going to be the boss world running after him. It's gonna be left oh, back onto Flash. Flash, he doesn't have his BKB yet, so he will just blink out for now. He's just trying to return in while leaving WT3 behind. They don't get the melee wreck, though. So. Ah, well, but those don't. No, oh, they regen health. Oh, yeah, that's. If they don't push in time in soon, then. Then the melee decks are gonna be back up to full health because it's a 5 health regen, which is. Not, much, not little. Remember that. 20, 20 seconds is 100 HP. But that was oh. about and oh no, flash find Eris. Eris is gonna die here. Or hmm? no, he's gonna run back. Oh yeah, that's gonna go. I wasn't wondering like what? What's he doing? But, but still, he used an eight second BKB be there. Which I mean is okay because uh, LD was running him, but um, still an eight second BKB, be, which is now forever gone. They can kill. They will try to push in again, but at least uh, Eris doesn't have to be bored at all. S kill is also bad, so he can just go micro uh, the Lina. Yeah, at least you have something to do. Yes, chat is going crazy about the uh, uh, about the uh, <laughs> about the situation. Yeah, we we can't help it. We're not responsible for their internet. We can we can protect them. If we had an offline event, yes, then it would definitely be an our problem. But as, since this is an online one, we really can't do anything about it. We're sorry, guys. But let's hope right that for now. the for the next match they play. Uh, Lemon Dogs will have this sorted out and are able to play again. Oh, but just look at the network damage they, they did with that. That was that. This wow. Yeah, yeah oh, this I'm is just this. this is just a uh, uphill like woof, right up. Huge swing, huge yeah. swing. And while many people would consider this unfair, remember that Lena is a compo is is mainly use useful only for single targets and the BKB even if. Did she have an Argus? She doesn't have an Argus, so she wouldn't have been able to do much against the uh, Well, they could have farmed anyway. it up already, and they wouldn't have done the Hail Mary play. I think this is really the best run of the game. Now they are in the back foot, uh, which they weren't before. Bottom barracks are under attack. Yeah. yeah. And they're gonna wrap around here. Krilly is walking in with the bear. That's gonna be the echo slam. Oh no, killing of two already is gonna be the third one that as well. Levy is, is gonna be uh, the return kill so far. Krilly is gonna die now as well. And this is gonna be GG. No bot back. There you go. A BBC turning this around for them. Yeah. This is. If you consider the Hail Mary plan from LP just didn't work and threw the game completely off for them. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm not sure what to say, really. Yeah, uh, this. Yeah, we, we. Yeah, guys. Sorry, this is just. This is just terrible. And situation is fucked. Sorry. Yeah, we will just try to get the next match going as soon as possible as well. We're sorry for this. I'll just go into the break straight away and hope to see you guys still there. Then.